Welcome back. I love to read. And today I want to talk about three books that I've recommended to students often in the past year. And uh, these are non-econ books, but they have influenced my development as an economist, as a creative, as somebody that's navigating the world. So today we're going to talk about the three books that I recommend. The first book is by Dale Carnegie, and this is a classic. It's an old book. You've probably heard about it, How to Win Friends and Influence People. I read this book uh, after I graduated with my master's from American University. It was during the housing boom. I was working in the mortgage uh, market at that time, and my mentor asked me to read this book, and it has influenced everything I have done and everything that I continue to do since then. The book is really about how to build relationships, how to make other people's successes your success and vice versa. I highly recommend it. If you haven't read it, please read it. Remember, it's a classic, but it's a good one. And I have that one nearby from time to time to, to read it. The second book I recommend is called Never Eat Alone. And if you want to think of it as a continuation of how to win friends, friends and influence people, you could think of it that way. The difference with Never Eat Alone is that it's a book about tips on how to manage relationships. So this is something that they don't teach you in college. They, you know, they teach you about the content. You learn how to be an economist. But when you go out to the real world, a lot of what you do is just managing relationships with people, subordinates, friends, family members. And there's really no training on how to do that. This book gives you tangible tips on how to connect with people, how to build relationships, and once again, how to make success, other people's success, your success as well, and vice versa. Really important to share the wins with the people. I will highlight that this book gets a little bit of a, some negative reviews in the sense that some people find the author to be a little braggy with uh, their their presentation i don't think so but if you read the book tell me if you believe that or if you noticed that if you picked up on that i think the author is just sharing what made him who he is today i think that's important for context right you want to hear advice from people that have succeeded anyways highly recommend it never eat alone is book number two book number three is this book right here i have um this is a recent book that i um read this past i think three months ago at this point but it has made it to the top of the list of books that i recommend because of what it preaches yeah preaches might be the wrong word here but i'm going to use it uh show your work by austin uh, cleon is about how to get people to join you on your journey in today's world we are quick we're, we're only likely to share successes so when we do something great when we meet accomplishment we post it on social media. This creates an environment where we're all just competing with the successes of others. And we don't highlight the growth and the struggles and the failures and the pushback that we experience in life. And as an economist, uh, academic, you know, rejection is part of what, part of my career. And for my students, my students live in this world where they are expected to continuously succeed and this is the image in which they see and uh, they get a false sense of what the what life is about so as they're transitioning between college and to the real world i want to encourage them and this book does a good job of encouraging people to share their journey so get buy-in from people build a community by sharing the path and not the destination it's a great book. It's easy to keep next to you. I have it next to me on my desk, and in times when I need a break from what I'm doing, I'll just open up a page and I will read one of the quotes. Let's take this one, for instance. What you want is to follow and be followed by human beings who care about issues you care about. This thing we make together. This thing is about hearts and minds, not eyeballs. So you want hearts, not eyeballs build the community, find your tribe, and good luck. These are the three books I recommend. If you read any of them, leave a comment. Tell me which ones you liked, which ones you didn't like. And if you have another book that you recommend, leave it in the comments. Look forward to reading them. See you next week.